What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones. So this reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac sign. We're going to do a quick check-in reading, y'all. I'm sitting at the house doing nothing. I am bored out of my mind besides cleaning. So, yeah, let's dive in. What quick messages need to come out from my Scorpios, please, Spirit? What are the quick messages that need to come out from my Scorpios? Quick messages from my Scorpios, please, Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? All right, Scorpio, no need to fear, first of all. Eight plus, it's number 18, 8 plus 1 is 9. So that's like self-reliance, self, uh, self-love, self self-independence here. Remember how powerful you are. No need to fear. That's the message for you. I like it. Bottom of the deck is 16. 6 plus 1 is 7. A moment's regret. Nostalgia, idolizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake. Someone may feel like they made a mistake in the past here, or you may be looking back, reflecting on the past about something here. But um, they're telling you, remember your power. You are strong. You are powerful. You are magnificent. So there is no need to fear what is to come. I just think 111 on the timer. Beautiful. What's going on with this message for Scorpio? Thoughts? Okay, so I see somebody stuck in their head here. It could be a main male. We have main male at the bottom of the back. Bottom of the back. What? <laughs> the bottom of the deck. We have uh, the thoughts card. Somebody's uh, thinking about you, Scorpio, or this is you and your thoughts here about that past energy. What's going on? Wealthy man. Well, my goodness here. Bottom of the deck is lovers. So somebody's thinking of a wealthy man, someone that they care about, someone they have love for here, someone they want to build a foundation with, okay? Someone that, that's grown. Message of concern. You may receive a message from somebody. Give me one more on this energy. Give me one more. Thoughts, wealthy man. What about this? Who's thinking of this wealthy man? What's this about? Change. Somebody's changing. Somebody's moving, relocating. Somebody could also be buying a new car. If you bought recently bought a new car, people are thinking about how did you afford it. What the fuck? <laughs> Pathway. Mature woman. Bottom of the deck here. Somebody might may, may see courtship gifts. Somebody may see false person. Somebody may see you like you've changed or like your um, finances have changed in some sort of way. I feel like somebody's thinking about you and they're watching your finances change. They're watching you move. Some of you are, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Some of you are literally moving and like relocating. And somebody's thinking about you because you're doing this. Like you're, it's like an, oh my gosh, let me upgrade you. Okay, that Beyonce song. That upgrade your song. Okay, I don't know the lyrics. All I let me let me upgrade you. That's all I can remember. Somebody's getting an upgrade here. Somebody else got into some type of relation relationship. Lella. Somebody else got into some type of relationship that they thought was a gift, where somebody was like, "Yes, come this way." <laughs> okay, and they ended up finding out it was false. Okay, wrong path. Pathways bottom of the deck here. But somebody's thinking about you because you have the upgrade. So oh. Somebody went the wrong direction, baby. What's going on? <laughs> What's going on, y'all? What's going on here? Let's get the Gilded Royale deck. Tell me about this. Spirit, what is going on? What's what's this no need to fear energy about? What is this about? Somebody's definitely thinking about you from your past. What's the no need to fear card about? The Emperor here. Some of y'all really have stepped into your big dick energy, okay? <laughs> Ace of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. If you're worried about money, there's no need to, Scorpio. You got it all under control here with the emperor energy. You're large and in charge, okay? You got it all under control. You're building something here. I see a very strong foundation. I see forward movement here. If you're looking for a new job, you'll get that job op opportunity. If you're looking for new work, you'll get that. I see money coming in. There's no need to fear, Scorpio. What's going on? Six of Cups in reverse here. So somebody, uh, there's there's some past memories that aren't too fond, okay? Could have been a past connection here with this Two of Cups and the Judgment card, the Lovers. Could have been a situation where somebody in the past chose um, somebody else, you know? Could be one of those situations here. Whatever it was, I feel like it was a Twin Flame connection or a very strong connection here. But I'm seeing um, there's not good memories there. Four of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. And I see somebody holding back here now. Or holding back from coming towards you, or you holding back from going towards them here. Let's give me another one. Yeah, nine of pentacles. Oh, because you are freaking abundant. Damn, look at all them pentacles. You got money, money. Yeah, yeah. Like y'all got money on money on money. Somebody was trying to hold money back from you, but it's coming towards you. So if you're worried about money, um, they're they're wanting you to know it's still coming in. 
Okay, give me more on this no need to fear, please, spirit. It's on its way. Nine of Swords is in reverse here. So no stress, no worries here. I see no stress, no worries, or they don't want you to stress or worry, Scorpio. You got the hermit energy here as well. Some of you are in solitude, or some of you have kind of ghosted a situation or left a situation here. I also feel like a lot of you have gotten out of your head here with this nine of swords in reverse and the hermit. You're out of your head about something, about giving to something that wasn't equal give and take here. The king of pentacles, I see stability. Like whatever you've been putting out, this is like gift energy. Whatever you've been putting out, you're getting back here. What's at the top here? The Hierophant and the Devil. Damn, what the f the world card. Somebody, I see a toxic cycle coming to an end and I see you defending yourself from this. With this Hierophant and the Devil card, there was some type of toxic connection. Could have been like a soul tie, karmic lesson, something like that. I see that coming to an end with the world card and the Seven of Wands and you defending yourself from it. Like you're not pursuing it anymore. Three of Swords energy. The Three of Wands, yeah, you're turning your back on it. Okay, you're turning your back. You're saying to yourself, I don't want to be heartbroken no more. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I don't want this. <laughs> okay, I'm turning my back. For the ones of you that um, went through this situation, that is now coming to a close. The heartache situation is like, you because you got three and three. It's, it's like finally over. You're finally turning your back on it because you're saying, I don't want to be hurt anymore. Like, I don't want to deal with heartache. I don't want to deal with disappointment. And that's why you're getting out of your head. Because you realize that the situation just caused grief, it caused sadness, it caused heartache, whatever it was. Clarify this thoughts, wealthy man and change. What is this about for Scorpio? The hermit. Yeah, some of y'all are in solitude. I'm People are wondering about you. They're wondering what you're up to, what you're doing. The lovers, Knight of Cups here. You have people that are interested in you as well. You may have choices coming in, choosing between different people. Some people stalking you. They want to come towards you. They're not sure how to approach you. Okay, they're trying to get information on the best way to approach you, Scorpio. Give me more on this thoughts. The temper is in reverse. Somebody is also unstable. Okay, not grounded at all. The high priestess, you may know this person. You may see this person. Nine of cups and the devil. Damn. What is this devil energy that keeps coming out? Somebody is very selfish with this devil and nine of cups energy. Like somebody is only worried about them and themselves only. That could be the reason why they're off balance as well. The moon card. You know this with the high priestess or somebody's going to find out about it. Like somebody is secretly selfish. Like they only care about themselves. They only worry about themselves. Okay. Mm. Give me more on this information here. Thoughts, wealthy man, change. Ten of pentacles. Oh, wow. I'm telling you, somebody is freaking abundant. Ace of cups here. New beginning in love. Page of wands. The ace of wands. You got the ace of cups. And the Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning, Page of Wands, Ace of Wands, and Knight of Cups. I think that's my boyfriend coming. Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm going to finish this reading up. But I see new beginnings coming in for you, Scorpio. Lots of happiness, a brand new start here. Yeah, he's here. Brand new start, okay? New love messages. Hold on, y'all. Let me go open the door. Okay, sorry, guys. Brand new start, new love coming in, a new passionate beginning coming in as well. Um, And I see money. Like, I see your status changing, your money changing, your success changing. Um, some of you, your address will be changing as well, or your a vehicle for some of you as well. Give me one more on this thoughts, wealthy man, and change. Oh, yeah, the will of fortune is destined. It's fated to happen this way, the full card. Some of you need to take a leap of faith, whether this is towards a new beginning, new opportunities, new work, okay? Whatever it is, some of y'all need to take a leap of faith here towards something, all right, and let's get you a fortune reading card here. What other message do you have for Scorpio here? What other message do you have for Scorpios? Any other messages that Scorpio needs to hear? I know this is a quick message, y'all. I'm sorry. Oh, my goodness. You got the wish fulfillment card. You got the star energy and the freaking sun. Damn. The devil's at the bottom, too, though. The devil says, take care immediately to avoid temptation and deceit. Okay, so be cautious of the energies you keep around you. You also have star. Hard times are over. Look forward to an abundance of happiness, enthusiasm, and positivity. And then you got the sun card. Open your heart to the enormous growth ahead. So you got two of the best cards out of the deck. You have the star and the sun. So lots of happiness and abundance coming in towards you. Money, recognition, fame, whatever it is that you're asking for, because you're now in control. I see a lot of you in your masculine energy here with this emperor and you're taking back control. You're letting go of the past here. You see it was a disaster, whatever it was. So I feel like a lot of you, if you see people coming from the past, I don't see you entertaining them, though, because you feel like it's the devil. OK, so that's what I have for you. Hope this gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch you on the next video. Bye, guys.